Greetings and salutations, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Age of Calamity. This is episode 62. Um, I... It seems to me that we're really kind of getting into the phase of the game where we're a little bit running out of options. So I'm wondering if maybe it'd be better to just, like, marathon these last couple missions. Because uh, they seem to be pretty close to the end. But, um, I don't know. Let's see if that starts to spawn any more stuff. Um, I did upgrade Impa a little bit. Did some weapon fusion for her. So, hopefully, yeah, this should turn out uh, pretty well. Okay. Kind of got to remember how to play as Impa a little bit. But, I think it'll go alright. Okay. That went pretty well. Oh, come on. Okay. Wow, okay. Hey, actually, I didn't take any damage. Awesome. Oh, come on. Okay, so there's that one. Okay, cool. Yeah, I'm still kind of getting used to managing those, the, you know, the clones. Oof. I hate fighting in these tight corridors, man. Especially since there's the big bright flashes whenever you, you hit something. It just, it, it hurts. <laughs> it hurts my eyes. I'm sure it hurts everyone else's eyes, too. Okay, so let's, uh, before we go and fight that Lionel, let's, um, go ahead and gather up our symbols. Awesome. And then now we can go and fight the Lionel. Oh, I guess I missed. Oh, well. Pulled me away from a perfectly good nap for this. Quit whining and let us hand. They're coming up from over there. Okay. Oh, what just happened? Okay. What just did I? I missed. Okay. That ice guardian is going to give me a real headache, so I'm going to take care of him. Oops, that's not the one I wanted. Just gonna take him out real quick. Hopefully, real quick. Okay, that did all right. Okay, man, Ice Guardian plus Lionel is uh, not a fun combo. I don't want him to shoot fireballs at me, so let's explode him first. Isn't that really what war is all about? Exploding the other guy before he shoots you with fireballs? There we go. Alright. Okay. Where is Impa? What just happened there? I don't know. I don't know. But, uh, it's fine. We're doing it. What just happened? Okay. Got the symbol. Awesome. And kill the Lionel? Question mark? Hopefully. Hopefully. I think that'll kill him. Whew. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it's almost like we're in the end of the game or something. But, uh, yeah, these missions are getting kind of tough. Okay, I don't I don't know what's causing that. I have a, a hypothesis. Like I'm trying to activate my symbols, but some of her attacks send her up in the air. <laughs> uh, and I think when um, when she's up in the air and I press that button, that's when she. Oh crap! Okay, 
that's when she does whatever that is. I'm not actually sure what's happening there. Ah, dang it. Ouch. Oh, I hope to at least stun the scout, but I think I missed. Oh, come on. It's so close. There we go. Okay. Um, I think I'm just going to blitz for the other one. Uh, we're... I think we're okay on time, but I don't want to run the risk. I certainly didn't expect a Silver Lionel to be at that outpost we just took, so, you know, I don't know what to expect. Hey, Koga, um, do you mind exploding if it means that I get to get away, please? Enemies made inside the Allied Stronghold. Well, deal with it. I hope they can deal with it. It seems that my choices are between... Let the stronghold get attacked, or risk running out of time. Not, neither of which are very pleasant options. Okay. No, nope, dang it. Yeah, the, I don't like the frog combo. It make, It's really slow, and it doesn't seem to do too much damage. Special attack, weak point, stasis. Okay, stasis good. Okay. And I got, um... I have my... Like, the current Kodachi that I'm using um, has a lot of special attack power on it. Like, you can see... I mean, what is that? That's 42% increase in special attack damage. And it's still not really doing too much, unfortunately. Can I? Yeah, there we go. Okay. Oh, come on. Oh, well. He's almost dead. Okay. Hey, I did it. Awesome. Whew. Got a little dicey there a little bit, but uh, we're good. You did it. Thanks for the help. We'll take it from here. Sounds like a plan, Pura. This is kind of cool. Okay. 900 rupees just from that. Not bad at all. And some more Terraco parts. We're definitely getting close. Uh, that makes me a little nervous. Is that going to force me to play as... Oh, no! <laughs> okay. Um, hold on, I'm going to check something real quick. Okay, um, I just looked to see if there was um, a meal that might let us passively regenerate uh, special attack energy, just because Zelda can make really good use of that. Um, and the answer is no, <laughs> unfortunately. But... Um, We'll burn that bridge when we get to it. Let's just do some of these for now. Blacksmith Guild wants to make better weapons. That means they need more brawny smiths. We're, they're going to go scouting at the quarry. Find them something to attract new recruits. All right. Uh, the guild smith scouting went great. With their new burly recruits, the uh, guild can now forge weapons at more reasonable prices than before. 5% more reasonable. Uh, you learn that a legendary blacksmith is in the castle dungeon. When you ask him how to make weapons stronger, he asks for proof of your skill with weapons first. Show him you're worthy. Alright. Uh, the blacksmith revealed that he jailed himself, fearing weapons were too deadly. Wow, okay. After he saw the measure of you, he's willing to share his technique for making weapons their best. Oh, Alright. Increase max weapon level further. So... <laughs> oh my goodness, that's what Mifa needed. <laughs> What's a level 30 weapon? 
Okay. Um, well, we'll work on that in a little bit, I think. Um, you still need star fragments. Wait, did I just spend ethereal stones somewhere? I totally have not been paying attention to these material lists. Oh well, doesn't matter. Um, it's fine. Um, well, I guess we might as well get started on the Guardian Graveyard. Must take them down as we advance. Okay. Defeat all guardians. How many are gonna spawn by the end of it? Because uh, in a couple of these past missions, it started off with two and then ended up dropping a couple more. Where did he go? Oh my goodness. Okay. Get down here. Oh, come on. Let's see. Can I... I can hit him. Okay, good. Be nice if I could, like, see him, but... The Guardian has begun moving. Uh, that's not good. That is good, though. Okay, one down, two to go at the present. Oh, okay. Okay, um, how am I gonna do that? Oh my goodness. I didn't expect that other guardian to start pushing him. Okay. Well, this should kill the sentry, and then we can focus on the stalker. Okay, two of the legs are down, that's good. I'm kind of trying to disable it, stop it from moving around so much. That's usually a good idea with the, uh, the stalkers. At least in this game, in Breath of the Wild it's usually more, th more worthwhile, at least in my experience, to uh, just parry. Just block the lasers. More at the back it seems. Let's quell, uh, quell our lingering fears. Owie! Okay, so two more guardians. Hmm. Okay, I have my special attack, so if I can... Ow, stop it! Uh, if I can get the special attack on top of both of them before they move too far apart, assuming it's another Skywatcher sentry combo, then that should kill them both. Nope, it's two stalkers. Awesome. Okay, well, let's use this one as cover from the other one. Uh, that didn't work out as well as I'd liked. Okay, oh well. Let's see how much this weak point damage does. I have a fair amount of damage. Okay. Oh, come on. Get it? Come on! Why am I doing no damage? Okay, this is not good. Oh, and there's another one behind me. Great. Uh, let's... Oh, I hope the other one's still in range. It is. Good. Okay, and then... Okay, and that should kill it. Awesome. This is going alright. Yeah, I actually quite like the king. He's a uh, he's pretty pretty good fighter. Uh, let's get some fire going. Okay. Whew. Sorry, I'm trying to concentrate uh, on you know not being bad at the video game anymore. I did also spend a huge amount of time just like farming and stuff, so I'm kinda... I'm still in playing by myself mode, and not in shoot, commentary mode. Okay, that's good. Uh, 
Come on. Man, these things are tough. But we knew that, didn't we? I feel like... They're... Ugh. I feel like I should not be having this much difficulty, but it could just be that uh, the king is not terribly over-leveled at this point. Like, I think he's only, like, one or two levels above what the level recommended him to be at. But that's okay. This is going all right. And this looks like it might be the last one. Dang it. Hey, actually, it didn't take damage. We're good. Ah, oof. Okay. Uh, or not. Okay. Good god, how many of these are there? That is the last of these mechanical miscreants. Honor of my soldiers. Um, I think he was referring to the ones we just killed, as in that was the last of that batch we fought. Not necessarily that these Malice Guardians are the last of the, the Guardians we have to face here. But let's hope these are the last ones. Because that's a lot of Guardians. Oh my god, Octorox. Good. Okay. Got him. Now I can focus on these frigging Octorox. Get them out of my life. Oh, I just noticed the soldiers have, like, the the Royal Guards uniform. That's awesome. I like it. Nice attention to detail. Oh, my God. Stop with the lasers, please. That's good. Okay, so the Malice Guardians are weak to fire, it would seem. Maybe that's what I was thinking of. Okay, and then, come on. I should have used stasis, not bombs. It's just kind of a habit. Uh, Mifa's bombs are really good for the weak point gauges, but... Uh, a few characters are actually, like, their bombs are pretty good for that, but... Ugh, dang it. Uh, not the king. <laughs> the king is not one of those characters. Oh my goodness. Oh my god, I got the other one, though. Okay. Well, that's definitely progress. Mm -hmm. Okay, got it. Well, I didn't get the gauge, but... That's okay. Oh, come on. Okay. Progress. Let's see. Nope. I think I'll just kind of stay on the defensive for now. Awesome. We'll let him open himself up and then move in for the kill. Oh, yeah, that went really well. Whew. Okay, one hopes that Pura and Robbie can continue their research now. One would hope. All right. Well, that went all right, all things considered. You know, being faced with like that ended up being like eight guardians, something like that. Not bad. Uh, damage room. Yeah, nothing I particularly care about. Getting closer. I think that just means we have uh, five more Terraco parts left to find. Hmm. Okay. A king serves his people. Many are troubled by the recent surge of monster attacks. To allay their fears, King Rome would like to show proof of stronger monsters having been slain. Help his majesty accomplish his goal. Uh, that requires... Well, let's see. Discount West Hyrule. I don't think I'm likely to run into the star shards and or the star fragments anytime soon, so I'm okay using the uh, 
the ethereal stones here. Uh, learning of the many terrible enemies felled by Hyrule's forces, the people are much more at ease. For their part, the soldiers' admiration of his majesty has deepened, improving their morale. Boost your attack strength by attacking while switching guises. That's interesting. I might have to uh, learn a little bit more about that. Uh... Wow. Oh, uh, it looks like there are a couple more things for Koga here that I remember we unlocked. Uh, Yiga Foot Soldier dreams of studying ancient tech, but it's distracting him from his duties. Master Koga figures you might as well give him an old fangled doodad so he gets it over with. Alright. Is that the technical term, an old fangled doodad? Uh, the Yiga Clan member received Master Koga's gift with a mixture of joy and utter amazement. In the end, to focus on his Yiga duties, he decided to give the item to the ancient tech lab. Well, good for you. Sort of. Uh, his duties are, you know, Giga Clan, and I don't, I don't know. Are they, are they done? Are they not evil anymore now? Is that how that works? I don't know. It's thanks for their invaluable advice on rebuilding the Giga Clan hideout. A Giga foot soldier wants to give the Sheikah scientist something special from the clan's loot stash. Okay. Uh, the donation from the generous Giga led to a major step forward in the scientist's research. From then on, an unlikely bond developed between the Sheikah researchers and the Yiga clan. Well, all right. I suppose that's good. Um, and it looks like most of what's left is just these uh, challenge missions. Um, not looking forward to being forced to play as Zelda again, but um, I think it'll be all right. Um, what's what's going on here? Need some fireflies. Um, yeah, that's a good place to call it. And then I'll I'll grab a couple of those fireflies and we'll uh, finish up what is definitely close to the end. We're we're not quite there yet, but we're getting close. And in fact, those are our last five parts for oops for recovering Terrico. So. Um, uh, well, we'll get to that eventually. Um, so yeah, we're we're getting close. Uh, so I uh, I look forward to getting cracking on that on the next episode. And thank you all for joining me on this one.